Hi love, welcome back. In today's class, we are making those beautiful wavy trousers. If you are new to the channel, my name is Miss Ayi and you are welcome. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you my love, thank you darling, thank you sweetheart for always coming back. This trousers fit a size medium but I will guide you to achieve your desired fit. Let's get right into class. To begin with, we are going to be making the waistband. So go ahead and take the measurement of your waist and make a slip knot. I'll be using a 4.5 mm hook for this tutorial. We are going to make our foundation chain for the band. I'm going to be chaining 10, but if you want your band very big, you will consider chaining 12. After my 10 chains, you are going to skip one and in the next stitch, you are going to make a single crochet. Keep making single crochets in each stitch until the end of the row. At the end of the row, you should be having nine single crochet. If you made, if you chain 12, at the end of the row, you should be having 11 single crochet. The big band is for my thick galleys, so if you know you are thick, consider chaining 12. At the end of the row, you should be having something like this. Row 2, you are going to chain 1, turn your work. We are going to be working back loops only. So skip the chain 1 you just made. And in the very first stitch, you are going to make a back loop single crochet. So you are going to be working inside the back loop only. And you are going to place back loop single crochet in each stitch until the end of the row. And my love, you have to be counting your rows. At the end of your row, you should have nine single crochet back loop only. And if you started with a chain 12, you should have 11 single crochet back loop only. This is the last. Now row three, you are going to chain one, turn your work. You are going to skip that chain one and in the very first stitch you are going to make your back loop single crochet go ahead and make back loop single crochet in each stitch until the end of the row and again at the end of the row you should be having nine back loop single crochet so this is basically how we are going to be making the band so at the end of the row you are going to chain one again turn your work skip that very chain one and place back loop single crochet in each stitch until the end of the row you are going to continue like this until you get your waist measurement and i'll meet you when i have mine This is the waist measurement and it measures 13 inches but when stretch it measures 14 inches meaning when I open it wide I should be having 28 inches when stretched. Now we are going to be closing off our band to form a circle. So in each stitch remember we have 9 single crochet. So you are going to go into each stitch with a slip stitch, both the beginning and the ending, we are going to be closing off the two. So if you made, if you follow the exact thing I'm doing, you should have nine stitches and for my thick galleys, you should be having 11 stitches. 
so this is the end of closing it off you are going to chain one and turn your wick this is what your band should be looking like so chain one and turn your wick now we are going to be making the bodice of the band and we are going to go in each row and make a single crochet so you just have to trace the row carefully and make single crochet there you have it make single crochet so you are going to go ahead and make single crochet inside each row at the tip of each row until the end of the row and I'll meet you at the end of my row At the end of the row you are going to slip stitch inside the chain one space and you are going to chain one or two cut and fasten your yarn we are done with the band now you are going to go ahead and divide your work into two and place a stitch marker so what I did was where we connected I counted 22 from the connecting row and I counted the other part is also 22 I'm counting two row as one that's why I'm having 22 but if I want to count all rows I should be having 44 on each side so that's my middle part so the connecting part at the back is my middle part and I've placed one stitch marker in the front so I've divided my work into two so go ahead and divide your work into two so after you are going to place two stitch marker at the back and make sure our connecting is in the middle the stitch where we stitch to connect it counts as a stitch so it should be in the middle and the front part you are going to trace off and place two stitch marker and leave a stitch in the middle there you go so place your first stitch marker and leave a stitch in the middle and place your second stitch marker so we've successfully divided our work into two so this is our leg spaces and we are going to start off with our main work to start off with our main work you are going to make sure your front panel of the band is facing you you are going to take off your stitch marker and just where you took off your stitch marker you are going to insert your hook make a slip knot and pull through you are going to be chaining multiples of 19 so if you are a medium consider chaining 171 and if you are tall consider chaining 190 so 171 for a medium size and 190 for a tall person after your chain you are going to add four so you are going to skip the four you added and inside the fifth stitch you are going to make a triple crochet so the chain the skip chain four count as your first treble and the second so inside the same space you're going to make your third treble inside the same space you're going to make your fourth treble and inside the same space again you're going to make your last treble so I'll be calling this our triple crochet cluster. 
in the very next stitch so this is five in the very next stitch you are going to make a treble crochet now you are going to skip a stitch and in the next stitch you are going to make a treble crochet so the first treble count as our first individual treble this is our second individual treble you are going to skip a stitch and in the next stitch you are going to make your third individual treble skip a stitch and make inside the next you are going to make your fourth individual treble you are going to keep skipping a stitch and making your trebles until you have nine individual treble and i'll meet you when i have my nine individual trebles so this is my nine individual trebles and this is what your work should be looking like after your nine individual treble, inside the very next stitch, we are going to make a treble cluster. And that is five treble crochets in the same stitch. Two. Three. Four. In the next stitch we are going to be making five we are going to be making treble cluster again in the next stitch so our treble cluster is five treble crochet in the same stitch five now after our treble cluster we are going to be making our individual trebles again so in the next stitch in the very next stitch you are going to make your first individual cluster individual treble sorry you are going to skip a stitch and in the next stitch you are going to make your second individual cluster you are going to skip a stitch and in the next you are going to make your third individual cluster you are going to skip a stitch and in the next you are going to make your fourth and you are going to keep making this until you have your nine individual cluster now this is my nine individual cluster and in the very next stitch you are going to make your treble cluster that's five treble crochet in the same stitch one two three the next stitch you are going to make your treble cluster again so treble cluster is five treble crochets in the same stitch two three And now in the very next stitch you are going to make your you are going to start your individual cluster and you are going to be making in the very next stitch you are going to start your individual cluster and the individual cluster is nine individual treble crochet the first one and the second one you skip a stitch in the third one you skip a stitch and make your cluster and you're going to repeat this until the 
end of our row so I'm at the end of our chain and in the very last stitch we would have a last stitch after our nine individual cluster and in that nine stitch sorry in the very last stitch you are going to place your five treble in the same stitch or you're going to make your cluster in the same stitch inside the very last stitch so now that you've that you've you are done with the row now we are going to be slip stitching three times to the band so this is one in the very next two and the next three to the band so this is the end of row one row two you are going to turn your work beginning from the five treble or the cluster we are going to be making front post single crochet in each of our trebles so we've done one we are going to go ahead make front post so this is row two make front post single crochet in each of the treble until the end of the row so there you have it now into each of the individual So this row is a front post single crochet in each stitch, each of the trebles until the end of the row. So keep doing this and I'll meet you at the end of the row. At the end of the row, you are going to chain four, turn your work, your chain four count as your first treble inside the same stitch you are going to make your cluster so your first cluster the chain four count as your first treble so inside the same stitch you are going to place four more treble crochets making it five so three four and five in the next stitch you are going to make start your individual trebles so this is your first you are going to skip a stitch and in the next you are going to make your second you are going to skip a stitch and in the next you are going to make your third and you are going to repeat keep repeating this until you have nine individual trebles After your nine individual trebles inside the very so this is my ninth one so after your nine individual treble inside the very next stitch you are going to make your first your cluster sorry so your cluster is five treble crochets in the same stitch so if you are doing everything well your work should be aligning so the very first your chain 171 plus 4 or your chain 190 plus 4 please count it very well and when you are making your clusters and your individual clusters make sure you are counting it very well in the next stitch you are going to place your cluster again so five trebles inside the same stitch Please, from row one, your counting should be 
really, really important for your work to perfectly align. So after your clusters, now we are going to be making our individual trebles again. So our, in, our first one goes nest inside the nest stitch. And from here, we are going to be skipping a stitch. So this is our second treble, skip a stitch, make your third, and you are going to keep going skipping a stitch and making your individual treble until you have nine individual trebles After your nine individual treble in the very next stitch you are going to be making your cluster and again cluster is five trebles in the same stitch after your first cluster in the next stitch you are going to make your second cluster and that's five trebles in the same stitch after your second cluster we are going to be making our individual clusters and you are going to place your first one in the very next stitch you are going to skip a stitch make your second treble in the next make your third in the next and you are going to keep making your trebles your individual trebles until you have nine and keep working until the end of the row so at the end of the row you should have one stitch and that is the last stitch is it looks like a dot but it's a stitch you are going to place your last five trebles in that tiny stitch so you are going to place your cluster and that's five treble crochet in that very small stitch and now we are going to be slip stitching three times so in the very next stitch you are going to place your first slip stitch so make sure where the stitch that is not engaged the very next stitch that is not engaged place your first slip stitch your second in the next and your third in the following that's the end of row three now row four you are going to turn your work and starting from the cluster we are going to be making front post single crochet in each stitch or on each treble crochet so make sure you are placing don't skip a stitch is very crucial because the moment you skip a stitch your work will not be aligning and the counting would be really difficult so place your individual single crochet front post only in each stitch until the end of the row and I'll meet you at the end of my row row 5 you are going to chain 4 again chain 4 count as your first treble you are going to turn your work 
inside the same stitch you are going to place four more trebles making it your first cluster Inside the next stitch, you are going to begin with your individual trebles. So you place your first individual treble in the next stitch. You are going to skip one. Place your second individual treble and you are going to be skipping and making your individual trebles until you have nine individual treble. After your nine individual trebles inside the very next stitch, you are going to place your first cluster. And that's five treble crochets in the same stitch. Inside the next stitch, you are going to place another cluster. And that's five treble crochet in the same stitch. Now after your cluster, you are going to make your individual trebles. So in the very next stitch, you are going to place your first treble and you're going to skip a stitch make your second treble and you are going to keep counting this until you have nine treble crochet After your nine trebles, you are going to, in the very next stitch, you are going to place your cluster. And cluster is five treble crochets in the same stitch. In the next stitch, you are going to make your second cluster and that's five treble crochets in the same stitch. If you've made it up until this point and you haven't subscribed yet to the channel, my love, my darling, you are not doing as good. Please subscribe to the channel. That is the little you can do to support us. Thank you. In the very next stitch, you are going to start with your individual trebles. So you make your one and you are going to keep making your individual trebles. So you are going to make nine of them and you make your two clusters, make nine individual trebles, two clusters until the end of the row. At the end of the row, you are going to place your last cluster in the very last stitch. 
that stitch always look like a knot but it's not so place your last five double crochet sorry five treble crochet in that stitch and now to close off with row five you are going to slip stitch three times to the band one two and three you are going to that's the end of row five now row six you are going to be making your single crochet front loop only until the end of the row so this is basically the pattern for this work it is easy but if you make one mistake <laughs> you'll be hot um, so it's a repetition of row one and two row one and two and switching our colors until you are done with the work so I'm going to walk you through all the steps to achieve your trousers. So at the end of row 6, now row 7, we are going to be switching our color to the white. So this is how I attach my yarn. So after your last single crochet front post, you are going to attach your yarn switch to your next color so and chain four just as we've been doing previously a chain four count as your first treble so inside the same stitch you are going to make four more trebles and this makes our first cluster three So this is five now we are going to start off with our individual trebles so in the very next stitch you are going to place your first individual treble skip one in the next stitch you are going to place your second individual treble skip one in the and make your third individual treble and you are going to keep repeating the individual treble by skipping a stitch and making your individual trebles until you have nine individual trebles so after your nine individual trebles in the very next stitch you are going to place your cluster and that's five trebles in the same stitch that's your first cluster one always make sure you are counting your work and in the very next stitch you are going to place our second cluster And now we are going to be making our single trebles so in the very next stitch you are going to place your first single treble you are going to skip a stitch and in the next you are going to make your second treble skip a stitch in the next you are going to make your third and you are going to keep repeating this until you have nine individual trebles So after your nine individual trebles in the very next stitch in the very next stitch you are going to make your first cluster and that's five trebles in the same stitch and 
and in the second stitch you are going to make your second cluster or in the very next stitch you make your second cluster and now you are going to be repeating your individual trebles until the end of the row at the end of the row we are going to place our last cluster and that's five trebles in the same stitch inside that very last stitch And that's the end of row seven sorry so we are going to be attaching our work so make three slip stitches to the band one two three and that's the end of row seven now row eight you are going to turn your work and make front post single crochet in each stitch until the end of the row also with the band with the slip stitching right um, to perfectly calculate um, your changing of yarn what I did was you are going to count three so how many times you want to switch your 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 colors right so make sure from the band you make multiples of three so if you know you are going to be changing like your first color um after every six rows so you are going to count three 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 so that's nine stitches on the band so nine 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 for each or you can make it you can choose to switch colors after every 12 so when you slip stitch 12 12 12 like each color 12 stitches each color 12 stitches i don't know if you get this um if you don't understand this just type under the comment section and let me type and explain it better so it's just a calculation for to enable you know how many times you would be switching your rows and if the band rows are in a multiples of three and can be enough for your switching so you can play around because that's exactly what i'm going to be doing some rows i'm going to be switching my colors after every um eight eight rows and some i'm going to be switching after every six rows so yeah so now we are done as i said um the second color so i did eight rows for the white and now i'm attaching the coffee again so with this coffee i'm going to make again eight rows for before i switch to the white again so that is what i'm saying so just count the band and make sure you are alternating it to your desire however you desire to alternate your colors you can even switch rows after every two every two um every four rows you can switch your colors after every four rows after every six rows after every eight rows or if your band is not in a multiples of three play with your colors and keep doing this and i'm going to be working so that's how i've placed my stitch marker just to be counting if i need to switch every nine or every twelve so basically that's it so keep working row one and two is the same our treble crochet row and our single crochet front posts row and keep doing this and i'll meet you when i'm done going round until the i get to the other stitch marker so as i was saying 
this i made the first row was six the second white is eight third is eight fourth is six and fifth is six so this is what i have so you see this is what my work is looking like and make sure you calculate from your band is really important so you would know the switching how you are going to go ahead with that so now we are going to be measuring our clutch area and we are going to put a stitch marker there so what i did is to measure 7.5 and place a stitch marker and 7.5 fell in the middle of my double cluster so i'm going to put the stitch marker in the very middle of my double cluster so five here five here and the stitch marker would be in the middle i don't know if you get that so you are going to measure the back again and place your stitch marker make sure your work the back and the front is really aligning so if you need to count the rows count it now we are going to attach our yarn and this time we are not working till the end of the row but rather we are going to end at where our stitch marker is but the pattern is still the same so you are going to chain four your chain four count as your first treble inside the same stitch we are going to place four more trebles making our first cluster And now we are going to be making our individual clusters so in the very next stitch you are going to place your first individual individual treble sorry and you are going to skip one in the next stitch you put your second individual treble and you are going to be working like this until you get to where the stitch marker is for your clutch area I'm at the stitch marker space so you would realize after the nine individual treble you should be having one last stitch to go and in that stitch we are going to place a cluster so that is five trebles in the same stitch so you take off your stitch marker and place five trebles in the same stitch you are going to chain one sorry after your five trebles in the same stitch you are going to chain one turn your work and we are going to be making a single crochet front post single crochet in each stitch until the end of the row At the end of the row you are going to chain four turn your work and we are going to go one last time so in the same stitch you are going to make four in the four clusters or four treble crochets in the same stitch making it your first cluster and you are going to make your individual clusters and your sorry your individual trebles your cluster so you're going to be alternating until you get to the end of the row that is where we ended where we ended 
and you are going to go back again with your front post single crochet so at the end of the row I've made my five cluster you are going to chain one and make front post single crochet in each stitch until the end of the row so with the uh, adding to the clutch area we are only going to be making four rows and at the end of the row you are going to chain one or two cut and fasten your yarn we are going to be doing the same exact thing for the other side of our work so remember we've already placed a stitch marker there so the other side of the clutch uh, so we've already placed our stitch marker so remember this is the beginning part of our work so what we are going to do is to make single crochet to begin with we are going to be making front post single crochet in each stitch before we can start our rows so also i would advise that you use your coffee yarn or the main yarn you used for the single crochet area what i noticed was after that the work was not given like that so it's not bad it's not a mistake but just um for color coordination use your coffee yarn when you are making your single crochet so this is just to base off from where we started where we started our um, work so do this until the stitch marker space and at the stitch marker space now we are going to be starting now with our SS row for the clutch area so you are going to chain four chain four count as your first treble inside the same stitch you are going to place four more trebles and this is our first cluster You are going to take off your stitch marker you will not need it so you see you are going to go ahead and make four rows just as you did for the other side of the work now in the very next stitch you are going to start making your individual cluster so that's one skip a stitch make your individual cluster until you have nine and after your nine individual you're going to make start making your double cluster and you are going to keep repeating this so this is row one single crochet would be row two you come back again and make your treble that would be the row three and a single crochet would be the row four to complete this just as we did for the other side At the end of the row you are going to chain one so i'm done with my four rows so you are going to chain one or two cut and fasten your work and this is how your work should be looking like my love one side of our trouser is done now we are going to the second leg and you are going to take off your stitch marker so we work up until the yellow stitch marker so you are going to take off our stitch marker attach your yarn and if you started with 171 chains please go ahead and make the same and if you started with 190 chains plus four go ahead and do the same so 171 plus 4 or 190 plus 4 and we are going to repeat the same exact step now 
you are going to skip four and in the fifth stitch you are going to make your treble a treble crochet inside the fifth stitch so the skip chain four count as our first treble so this was three last one five and now inside the next stitch you are going to make a single we are going to start making a single trebles or our individual trebles so that's one you are going to skip a stitch make your second one skip a stitch until you have nine nine individual trebles After your nine individual trebles you are going to make inside the very next stitch you are going to make your cluster and cluster is five trebles in the same stitch and now in the next stitch you are going to make your second cluster and we are going to be re reversing our work so just where we ended our work that would be the we ended that would be the first row for this so if you ended with um, your last um, color was eight rows go ahead and make eight rows and just be reversing it all around until that you get to the other stitch marker to complete the leg so that's basically what we are going to be doing so make sure you are counting your rows and do the same exact thing as you did for the other side of your leg so we are going to place the five trebles in the same stitch that will be our last stitch and now we are going to slip stitch three times one two and three so that's the end of row one. Oh, i just put my stitch marker this thing is not strong you are going to turn your work for row two and we are going to be making single crochet front post only inside each stitch so single crochet front post only until the end of the row so basically this is what you are going to be doing make sure your counting is correct and this is the back of the work and this is the front so you are just going to reverse this until you get to the pink stitch marker and this is what the work should be looking like i've already worked and worked my clutch area as well the clutch make sure you measure 7.5 and make your ss row and the ss row is four you're making four rows now we are going to be closing off the leg so you are going to turn to the wrong side of the work so after your other side when you are done making your um, your ss row the four rows for the clutch please don't close it off you will just make we would use sorry don't cut your yarn so that same yarn you are going to we are going to be using it to close it off so make single crochet sorry slip stitches inside both stitch so make sure your work is you've aligned your work properly and 
close it off with slip stitches also if you are not comfortable with your closing it off with slip stitch you can use single crochet or you can use your dining needle whichever way would secure it very well is what you're looking for at the end of the day so close it until the end at the end of the row you are going to chain one card and fasten your yarn you are going to close the other side as well and this is what you should be having now we are going to go ahead and close the back so the hip and butt area and we are going to start off with the front we are going to start closing off um, from the front part right and end where we connected our band for the our band now you realize that we're closing it off one side you will still have to make single crochet front loop so you will know wherever we started our work the we still have to make single crochet back loop only so the work can align properly and closing it off wouldn't be any problem so that's what i'm doing so go ahead and make single crochet front loop only in each stitch until the end of the row you are going to do the same for the front and the same for the back We are going to after making your single crochet back loop only uh, sorry single crochet front loop only now we it's time for us to close it off so just insect the um the two sides and just close it we are closing it off with slip stitches again if you are not comfortable using your slip stitches and you have a better or convenient method please use that but make sure you are aligning your work very well and you are closing it off let the stitches be aligning so after closing off the coffee now we move to the clutch area and you are going to align your work well make sure where we made our we closed our leg off should be aligning you can place a dining needle or if you can work like that fine so in the first treble crochet so you are going to put the two treble crochets together and you are going to make four single crochets inside the both of our treble crochet but here you can see i'm using single crochet not slip stitch so make four single crochet in your first treble crochet row and in your so i'm placing the work down well so we are working we are closing it off all round to the front so in your next treble crochet row put the two together and again make four single crochet and align where we made our where we started closing it off so you are going to make a single crochet inside that knot on both you are going to join with a single crochet now you come back to our treble crochet and make four single crochets joining them and now our last treble row so our last treble row we are going to make four single crochets and this brings us back to our 
now when you get here make sure you make your single crochet at the other side front post single crochet before you start connecting your work again and make sure you align your work very well here patience is key because you are done with the work so just take your time and um, stitch your work carefully so make single crochets um, slip stitches joining them to the end of the row so at the end of the row I went further to bring my slip stitches up on the, on the band just to re-secure it very well you don't have to do this if you don't want to but I just brought it I made like three stitches up on the band again before I chained one cut and fasten with a yarn and oh my babies we are done with the trousers now you're going to go ahead and cut and fasten all loose ends make sure you cut it properly don't spoil your work cut and fasten all loose end and we shall turn our work to the front side and cut and fasten all loose ends and also to the bottom of our trousers there will be a lot of loose ends there make sure you do the same so secure it i just secure it with a very tight knot and i sew in my loose end where i cannot sew i just cut it off but make sure it's seamless we are going to turn our work to the front side um and this is what your work should be looking like make sure you stretch them out and you are done until we meet next week let's see how it looks on the mannequin if you enjoyed the video my love my darling make sure you leave us a very big heart under the comment section and also comment down below let us know where you're watching us from it's always nice to know until we meet next week is bye bye